The African forest has served as a habitat and source of sustenance for a wide array of endangered animal species from all over the world. Leopards are always the fear of the lesser animals whenever they see it approaching the region because of its extraordinary physique and master climbing skills, both of which rate amongst the top of the animal world. Leopards prefer antelopes as their primary food source. The early morning tranquility on the lush green grass is appreciated by many. The predator has set his sights on the prize and is staring at it with lusty eyes. At just the right moment, it rushes down and clamps its jaws on the neck of its prey, all while the antelopes are still reeling from the initial shock. Though it has been bitten in a vulnerable spot, the prey is fighting back with all its might, doing anything it can to get away from the predator's sharp fangs. The prey fights desperately, but the hunter makes the decision not to release it. When an adversary repeatedly bites the antelope's tender flesh, the antelope quickly exhausts its reserves of strength and dies. The prey eventually succumbs to the predator since it's no longer able to put up a fight. After successfully capturing its prey, the leopard would go to a more secluded area to have its hard-earned meal in peace. Famous for their high intelligence and emotional quotient, baboons are listed as one of the most intelligent animals on the planet. The baboons, who are capable of climbing and performing acrobatics, have been able to observe from a safe distance the process of two animals assaulting each other in an exceedingly vicious manner. A baboon, while the conflict is still ongoing, offers to go on a reconnaissance mission, after which it takes command of an army that is getting ready to engage the powerful foe. The baboon army is mustering its forces and it is preparing to lay siege to the mental fortitude of the adversary. The enormous might of the leopard is demonstrated by its roaring in the skies. However, it is possible that due to the close coordination with the strong solidarity of the baboons, the powerful animals that are not scared of the sky like the leopard, occasionally have no choice but to run. Strolling back empty-handed, the leopard prowls around the area where it was chased by the baboons, as if waiting for something. After waiting for everyone to go to sleep, the leopard sneaks into the baboon's den in the middle of the night. One may make out the silhouette of a young baboon stumbling up a big tree from around the corner. The animal gropes for the prey, bringing it to its mouth. Then it carries its prey to another branch, slowly sipping its snack. Waking up from a long sleep, the baby baboon is nowhere to be found. The mother baboon cries in fear, forcing the whole group to race to find it. It's loud and chaotic below, but no one dares to reach the top where they see an invader seated. The leader of the pack becomes impatient after waiting for such a long time and decides to climb a tall tree so that it can take the lead in challenging the invader. After determining that the adversary is not paying attention, a young baboon with a hostile disposition scratches the thick skin with one hand, which causes a battle to break out. The hunter who does not shrink from a task like this is equipped with an exceptional body and the ultimate iron tooth weapon, and it charges in to tackle the troublemaker. When the baboon leader sees danger approaching, it rallies the troops for a counterattack, which ends in tragic loss of life. After seeing their friends killed in front of them, the baboons reluctantly pull back to save their own strength. Honey badgers, albeit very small, present a significant challenge to larger carnivores. Cobras, whose hunting prowess is not inferior to that of any animal, must be aware of all types of potent toxins because of the danger they provide. 
There is a swarm of frenzied hunters surrounding their target, and they all have their sharp iron claws out, ready to scratch the animal's back multiple times to create a bite point on the neck. The honey badger, although being viciously attacked, does not give up. Instead, it bears the pain with patience and cleverly counterattacks, ultimately causing the leopards to lose their prey. To its credit, the honey badger is so courageous that when its foe has been wounded, it immediately seeks out a means of escape from its pursuer's sorrowful gaze. After a fruitless hunt, they come across a herd of antelope that have stopped here for a sip of water, giving them renewed energy. The predator is sneaking up to ambush. The huge amount of foliage and pliable branches allow the predator to sneak upon the prey silently. The antelopes panic at the foul odor and run away from the predator, but it's too late for one unfortunate youngster who is quickly devoured. The predator, now more knowledgeable than before, is determined to avoid losing its prey and thus grips strongly. Blood trails lead wild dogs directly to the scene of the carnage they are seeking. The African wild dog has an almost perfect success rate when hunting, making it an unbeatable adversary on the huge savanna full of wild animals. When the wild dogs discover the leopard has stolen the bait, their greed drives them to approach the leopard's owner in an aggressive manner because they want a piece of the action. Splitting off to annoy their prey, the dog pack scatters. They've trapped the leopard, cutting off any escape routes. The leopard is so stiff that it can only escape by climbing a tree. The leopard quickly loses its power in the face of such massive force in a prolonged struggle, allowing the prey to escape. The savage dogs finally sit down to enjoy their prize. The weak have a very difficult time making it in Africa. The weak are easy prey for the predatory animals, whereas the strong always prevail. This is normal though in such a chaotic and difficult cycle. Hyenas wait for the leopard to leave before swooping down on the wild dogs and stealing their dinner. Both species have always detested one another due to the constant competition for food, even when they are both part of the best hunting groups in Africa. They are always in a ready-to-battle stance, ready to run into each other at any moment should an opportunity to do so arise. Extreme hostility is displayed as both sides fight to secure food. They are able to reduce the number of opponents by attacking soft tissue with their bites. Because they are so innately opposed to one another, they resort to extremely harsh forms of mutual destruction. While his friends are being slaughtered, a hyena sneaks in and eats first. Perhaps the wild canines are physically weak since they haven't recovered from the last hunt. The hyenas successfully guard their meal with a powerful rise, preventing their attacker from getting close enough to steal it. Every year, when the animals migrate to new places, it is also a golden time for predators to hunt. Unfortunately for the wildebeest, hyena attacks are unavoidable. Using long-range accuracy, the predator stalks its prey. When it comes to speed and violence in the hunt, only the hyena can compare. Wildebeests are no match for it. The roar of the sky signals the arrival of the Lord of the Beasts. Despite their shared strength on the high step, it is considered extremely forbidden for these two species to encounter one another. The hyenas are highly ferocious and rush in recklessly to kill the lion when it arrives to steal their freshly killed prey. The hyenas are very social and work together to build a protective circle around the predator. 
The hunter, infuriated by the attack, displays its bravery by grabbing the hyena in front of it and viciously biting it. In this bloody struggle for life, after the other hyena falls, the remaining hyenas scatter, fearing that the hunter will kill them all if they stick around. A beautiful scene with a winding river weaving between the vast tropical green forest. Interspersed are natural large and small lakes with many shapes. This is the view of the tropical wetlands in the flood season from above. Countless different kinds of flora and fauna make their homes along the rivers that run through the Pantanal. In this context, it would be inappropriate not to mention the crocodile, also known as the Lord of the Swamp. Caimans, birds, white storks or giant anteaters, and countless other species of flora and fauna create a unique population that contributes to the biodiversity of the tropical swamps of the Pantanal full of names. This is a jaguar that prefers to live in tropical, subtropical, and swampy leafy forests where there are many trees. In particular, they love water as well as swimming. The peaceful sky above the trees is an ideal place for the lovebirds to roam around and the mother bird to take care of her young babies that were just born a few hours ago. Crocodile is the name of an animal that lives in the swamp. It has a thorny body and a frighteningly large snout, and it is a horrible oppression of all living things, including humans. Caimans can be found living in the wetlands and rivers of the Pantanal region. It is more nimble and sensitive than its larger crocodile relatives, despite the fact that it is smaller than them. They are 1.5 to 6 meters long and are the smallest and lightest species in the family. This species is distinguished from others in that it very infrequently ventures out of the water. Everything from eating to sleeping to relaxing to cleaning may be done in the water. It is wonderful when in the middle of an arid grassland there is a cool stream of water to drink. A herd of more than 200 zebras, I guess, both large and small swiftly cross the river in quest of a place that will offer happiness and richness to future generations. Fresh air, cool climate, green tree-lined river surface, silence makes all movements quickly detected by crocodiles. Each river crossing poses a threat to the life of the entire zebra herd. Perhaps the zebra successfully crossed this river. The majority of the herd reaches the opposite bank of the river. In another small nook, a pair of quarreling ducks are chasing and fighting, and the two butterflies have an unending affection for one another. Oh no, I have seen them. Crocodiles swim surprisingly fast. In a moment, they have ambushed the buffet. Because the herd of zebras is so crowded, the crocodile has many choices. Everything requires a strategy and a plan. Will huge and small rocks impede this hunt despite the undulating terrain? Do you think like me? So I hope the zebras will get rid of these ugly carnivorous crocodiles. Far away, bathing this crocodile receives an urgent invitation to the predator's party. At the party, several other guests are present. The little zebra leaves its mother's arms to the crocodile's embrace. Body is no longer able to resist. It falls before its short fate. It sacrifices itself in exchange for the safety of the herd. Leaving aside the natural laws of survival, the landscape continues to proliferate to welcome the new sun in the Pantanal region. Starting a new day with water will be good for the body's health. The zebras looked so natural, they seemed to be regular customers of this stretch of the river. The new day has also begun with birds. One is still sleepy, one has been exercising, while some have been diligently looking for prey since early. Back to the zebras, suddenly a heart-pounding launch of a zebra in the herd. Quickly, the whole herd runs up to the shore. There is only one who is unfortunately stuck. Maybe it has its left leg clamped, followed by snaps right on its butt. It can only be crocodiles. Crocodiles are the ancestor of concealing and remaining silent until they have to attack. Some clamp its legs, some bite its butt, and some bite its head. 
How can the zebra resist? The zebra is tough to escape during this stage. Meet your ancestors early, then aim to reincarnate with luck and power in the future life. That is sometimes preferable. The sun is setting, and it's time for loneliness to rise. This ocelot copes with the loneliness by repeatedly feeding in the surrounding darkness. After eating and then climbing again, they live in an area with luxuriant trees and are very afraid of humans because every time they meet people, they lose their million dollar brand fur. With the loot it found, the ocelot quickly finds a flat place to enjoy the results. Some storks diligently get up early, take a bath, and then go to the tree to clean their body. Other middle-aged storks have already woken up early to practice exercises. A close-up of a newly pubescent rosate spoonbill. It has a white neck and a partially hairy greenish-yellow head, with glowing red eyes and a spoon-shaped beak. They live in groups in shallow water and put their long beaks into the water to feed. While the mother bird stays in the nest to take care of the young, the father works hard to earn food for the family. Happy family is here. After taking care of food for his wife and children, the father bird is able to sleep soundly on a bare branch. At first glance, it looks like a leopard, but it is actually a famous native to the Americas. It is none other than the Jaguar. This Jaguar is very fond of water, loves to swim, and they like to live in tropical, subtropical, and swamp forests, where there are many trees. On a beautiful morning by a calm river, while walking along the riverbank, the jaguar accidentally discovers a crocodile sunbathing on the bank. It swiftly moves from walking to swimming, approaches the crocodile unexpectedly. Let's wait and see what occurs next. When the crocodile reaches the ground, the jaguar leaps to its feet and snatches the crocodile's head without missing a single beat. The crocodile suddenly realizes the jaguar is behind its back at the last second 